Great, great morning. Great, great morning. Great, great morning, awesome people. Great, great morning, awesome people. Great, great morning. Welcome to my Facebook Live at 5. Great morning, awesome people. Welcome to my Facebook Live at 5. This is Reverend Allison Daniels. Welcome to my Facebook Live at 5. The scripture for this morning is Romans 8, 28. Romans 8, 28, and it reads, And we know that all things work together for good to them that are called, to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Meditate on this. Favor in his presence. So meditate on this all through the day, all through the week. Favor in his presence. So let me share with you. When I woke up this morning, I woke up between like 3.30, 3.45. And um, God had changed everything. So everything that I was working on all through the week, Friday and Saturday, and um, a little bit Sunday morning had been changed. So bear with me because I have to um, be obedient. So when God gave me Romans 8.28... Um, he gave me this title, which was favor in his presence. When you are convinced that every detail of your life is woven together to fit into God's perfect plan and purpose for your life, you will see that there is favor. So I don't know who this is for because it was changed early this morning, but I want you to be convinced that there is favor for you. So every door that he's opening for you will be favor in his presence. Every assignment that he will place before you to have will be favor in his presence and favor in the purpose that he has for your life. His favor, God's favor, will supersede man's favor God's favor will supersede man's titles. God's favor will supersede the experience that you need because he's granting you favor. For the favor that he has for you being in his presence will shift the atmosphere your way. So today, don't be discouraged, but stay connected. Don't be alarmed by what you see or by what you hear. Stay connected. Don't be far off, but stay close to him. Don't be overwhelmed, but be encouraged in him. For there is favor in his purpose for your life. So be assured and be hopeful that your steps are being ordered by the Lord. When it looks like you can't handle it, remember there is peace in his presence. There is peace in his presence. And even in this final hour, you may be betrayed, overlooked, and put down, but be encouraged because there is favor in his presence, in his purpose, and his plan for your life. Many don't know the peace of God, and many don't know the favor of God, but you will. So don't look at your circumstance. Stay focused on him. For there is favor in his purpose and his plan for your life. You know... I wondered why God at the final hour, the final moment, changed everything. And I believe that he changed it because someone needed to know that no matter what you're going through right now, this very moment, God has favor over your life. Don't look at it for what it looks like because there is favor that's covering you. His grace is is covering you. His mercy is covering you right at this very moment. 
just keep saying to yourself, there's favor in his presence. There's favor for me. I know man doesn't see it. You can't look at mere man because man doesn't see it. They don't even understand it. They can't even comprehend it. The favor that's over your life. No matter what happened, no matter what was said, no matter what was done, no matter how many traps that were set, no matter how many plans and meetings that took place, there's favor in the presence of the Lord. God has a purpose for you. He has a plan for you. You just have to seek him. Seek him enough to know what it is that he has specifically for you. And remember, no matter what's going on around you, when you have the confidence and the assurance that God is keeping you, that God is protecting you, that God is surrounding you with his angels, there's nothing for you to fear. There's nothing for you to fear. It's still going to work out in your favor. It's still going to work out in your favor because you've been obedient, because you've been faithful, because you've been hopeful. It's still going to work out in your favor. And even when you went to the left and you should have gone to the right, it's still going to work out in your favor. So don't get discouraged today. As a matter of fact, read enough of God's word to build your um, faith up, to build your confidence up. Read enough of his word to know that he still has you covered. He still has you protected. There should never be a time that God's people are not encouraged. Yes, we do get discouraged. I'm not saying that we don't. I'm not saying that I don't. I'm not perfect. Never will be. But let me tell you, when I get to that point in my life, I know that I have to feel back up on his word. When I get low in what I believe and what I know God has already told me, when I know that what God has already promised me, when I decide to start questioning it and wondering if that's what God said, I'm running back to his word. I'm going to stay at his feet until he give me that word, that favor, that assurance to know that no matter what's being said around me, sometimes we have to learn how to close our ear gates. I can look at you and smile at you and you're talking the whole time and I can look at you and God knows I'm way somewhere else. I'm in the heaven realm and I'm thinking about what is it that God has for me? We have to learn how to step away. If you have to step away from social media for a while, do that. If you have to turn the TV off for a while, do that. If you have to turn the phones off for a while, do that. Why? Because you need to be built back up so that you know that you have the favor of God in your life. There is favor and the purpose and the plan that he has for your life. You are here for a reason. You were birthed in the earth for a reason. God has a plan. Just because you you may not be uh, um, a great speaker or a great writer. And I said that because those, those are my points. But God has a specific plan for you. There's something specific that he has that only you can bring it to pass. Only you can do it. Only you can do it. And so as I get ready to close, because um, I really didn't know any of everything that I was going to say today, but I, um, I'm always obedient. I'm always focused. That's like one of my key words is focus. When you're focused enough, you'll hear what God has to say to you. So at 3.30 this morning, when he said Romans 8.28, favor, I just got up and started writing. So I hope whoever this was for, I pray I pray that you have received it because there is favor in his presence. You don't have to bow down. You don't have to compromise. You don't have to make a couple of phone calls to ask friends to co-sign for you. You're already approved. There is favor in his presence when you learn how to seek him. You have a wonderful, wonderful, awesome day on purpose. And even though... It's raining outside. God still reigns. So don't allow no one to steal your peace. Don't allow them to steal your joy. Don't allow them to steal the unconditional love that you have. Why? 
because they didn't give it to you and they can't take it away. Don't even allow them to steal your smile. Even if you're going through something, just do like this. Smile. Smile. And don't allow them to distract you because there is favor in his presence. Favor in his presence. Keep seeking him. Favor in his presence presence keep seeking him because this joy I have this peace I have the world didn't give it and the world can't take it away I've been walking with God for a long time this peace I have this assurance I have the world didn't give it and the world can't take it away I've been through the storm this peace I have the world didn't give it and the world can't take it away this joy I have the world didn't give it and the world can't take it away because there's favor in his presence. So when you get that down in your spirit, you'll understand that there is favor in his presence. Have a wonderful day on purpose. And remember, your purpose still stands regardless of your past. I almost forgot my own quote. Your purpose still stands regardless of your past past. So don't allow no one to bring back up your past. Tell them it's already forgiven. Have an awesome day on purpose. Peace.